What up, Neo Natives? I be the one they call MC Pan. Now, if you follow any of my work, you know that I'm a deeply spiritual person and that I have a devout yoga practice. But another thing you will note is that I have a lot of fun playing around with the shadow and the darkness within the soul of humanity. <laughs> Now, most of the time when you go into a yoga class, you know, or something like that, people are wearing bright colors and, you know, all white, shit like that, you know. And they're all positive and flowery and all about bliss and ecstasy and, you know, that's all well and good and everything. But, I mean, if you step into a tantric yoga course, you know, and everyone's just wearing white, you know, they're like wearing bed sheets and it looks like it's a fucking KKK rally, you know what I mean? <laughs> Sometimes, you just want to go in there and get your stretch on and wear all black, have some makeup on, you know what I'm talking about? This is Yoga for Goths. Now it's most likely that if you follow my work, even you have a yoga practice, or you've practiced yoga in the past, or you do it now and then. You have some kind of spiritual practice where you want to have union with the divine, or as I call it, God-fucking. Now the asanas, or the postures, whichever term you're most familiar with, in yoga for goths is a little bit similar to, you know, your normal asanas that you would have in any kundalini or hatha or vinyasa class, but there's a little bit more edge and sexiness to it, you know? I mean, if you're anything like me, you just want to bring a level of sex appeal to everything you do. You know, even when you're meditating, you can just just fucking God fuck. You know what I mean? <laughs> I know you do. So I gotta show you some of these positions that you can do when you're decked out in your amazing apparel. You know, you can wear your platform boots. Do these poses right from your home. Check it out. Now we got Warrior Six, or what I like to call, come at me bro, I'll fuck your ass up. We got Tree Pose. We got one-legged, one with the emptiness pose. And you can even bring the shadow element into your meditation if you want. I know y'all want to. I am one with the darkness of my soul. I am one with the darkness of my soul. I am one with the darkness of my soul. I am one with the darkness of my soul. I am one with the darkness of my soul. Wahe Guru. Now this is just a little taste, a little preview, a little seduction for what you can do if you want to 
have a yoga, spiritual, god fuck practice of your own, and bring a little flavor of goth to it. We are a walking paradox, the duality in double talk, a box within a box, a fox searching for an equinox, unorthodox, I'm everything, it's why they call me Pan, the man in a land of my own creation, above, below, side to side, agent of chaos and divine guide, the Pan everything combination, Pan everything combination. We're wicked and divine, God and the devil Learn to read the signs, climbing up your spine This is your sigil, integrating civil Traveling time through your divine bloodline I find myself within a rhyme